What's up, everybody? Llama King here, and I'm going to do a video on my troop comp, talk a little bit about familiars, maybe open up a few chests, and see where it goes. I haven't been on yet today, so as you can see, I have to collect everything. I usually do this first, but I thought, eh, I'll, I'll do it so you can see how I do things. Um, I like to get rid of all this crap first. Ticky, ticky, ticky. <laughs> Um, I still wish they would put out an update where you can open up these, you know, a hundred at a time, say, kind of like chess. Like I've got over, like I just opened up a bunch of them too. I've got over a thousand of those, almost like 1100 of them. Um, so there's, there's a lot of videos I want to do. I want to talk about T5. I want to talk about familiars and all that stuff. I'm actually working on T5. <laughs> what? I'm doing what I can. Uh, see, as you can see here, I made it down as far as I could get down to infantry uh, or, you know, offense. I'm going to try and fill out as much of this as I can because I assume it's like everything else where you have to have all of this full 10 out of 10 before you can even unlock those, right? Almost guaranteed that's exactly what. So I'm going to have to fill all this out, which is going to be a lot of archaic tombs, a lot of speed ups, a lot of time. I've slowly been accumulating archaic tombs every once in a while. When the pack comes out, I'll spend $6.99 or whatever it is, and I'll get, I think it's 250 archaic tombs. So just so you know, I am working on T5, and let's just see how long it takes me and just how hard it is to actually do it. Like how much, how many archaic tombs does it cost to do that? Five, eight, 593? Just for that? Wow. <laughs> what? See? It's a lot. It's going to be a lot. It's going to be thousands. Ten, tens of thousands of archaic tombs, I would assume. Um, so yeah, leave in the comments what you want to see. Like right now, like do you want to see me go through all my research and show you what I have, what I've chosen? Like I can't, like I can't fill out all this stuff. So I, you know, I choose uh key things that i want like this really i kind of stopped i was like i don't really who cares about bigger bags force march i got other things i could focus on sigils same thing i did what i could and then i was like yeah there's more important things I, I need so let me know what you guys want all right uh and as you can see i'm 803 million might i didn't do an 800 million might video why because i am going to fix my troop comp everybody says what the hell are you doing with a you know what i haven't touched my troop comp in so long i i've i stopped building t1 years ago because like you know two or three years ago there was a there was a troop comp you could do where you kind of like what you do with the t1 uh, t2 now you had a whole bunch of t1s and then people would reinforce you with t1s you would get rallied and all of the damage would, would get spread out all over everyone's T1s. So um, you could just quickly heal up and you wouldn't, you know, it, it, it was a strategy that I never ended up actually utilizing or using. Um, so I know people are saying, get rid of your T3, which I have a ton of those, and get rid of your T1 and just have T2 and t4 i'm willing to do that but there's got to be something different i can do get rid of the t1 sure but keeping the t3 i don't know there's got to be a way and instead of just dismissing all these troops if that's what i'm going to end up doing instead of doing that we might as well go out and have some fun with them and just start throwing t3 at people even if i lose um you know just start throwing attacks at people and uh, uh you know it'll, that, that'd be more fun than just dismissing them I don't know. Help me figure it out. Put in the comments what we can do with that. But at the very least, I will get rid of the T1 troops. I'll do a whole video on troop comp. I'll look at the, the comments. So make sure you leave a comment giving your advice. Uh, what other uh, you know YouTubers do, like Worthy Prince. I know he's got a pretty good setup uh, uh, as a trap. Keep in mind, I don't really want to be a trap. I'm not a trap. Um... So maybe the troop comp is different for someone like me. Maybe I can keep my T3. I don't know. Anyway, put it in the comments. What what do you think I should do? Uh, as for my hearts, I've said this before. 715 is the best one because it's only six hearts. And you get 10 minute speed ups, right? Because I have all my uh, heroes 
gold. So uh, that's the best way to utilize your stamina. And then I always go like this. I collect everything. And I love this new auto thing for resources. Love it. And then I check for my ship Ahoy. Not ready yet. Six hours. I can get some T1 troops. <laughs> uh that's about uh, i can do hunting i can oh i like using my dark assistants and ready to rumble i will use that yeah i will use that after collect those oh i'm kind of a little bit behind here yeah i have to get first place back and then we collect the labyrinth crap do our free hit and if you have bought a pack Gold pack, $99 pack, or for me, $139.99, I think it is. You unlock Elite. If you're not sure, if you're if you're new to this game and not sure how you would unlock Elite, you got to buy a $100 pack. I know, pretty stupid, right? But that's the rules. Take your free hit on the uh, Kingdom Tycoon, and I got a green pearl. Thanks. Don't want it. Don't need it. How far do I have? Uh, two, uh, I might as well. Wait, what's my... Okay, might as well use up some energy. So... We can take this opportunity to find a level three, preferably, uh, I don't want Tidal Titan. So we'll kill this snow beast right here. Is there a closer one, like right against the hive? I don't see one. Mm, this one seems closer. All right, so check on uh, click in the eye, strong against hive magical defense. So we need to send physical, whoops. We are going to pop our monster hunting, hunting ground. Adds 15 hunts in a row. Thank you very much. And your very first hit will be like you just hit it 15 times. So you'll start off doing a ton of damage. So physical, 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 physical. There you go. That's a good team to use right there. Whoop, hide that. And as you can see from that last video I did, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Uh, I did upgrade a horn to a mythic and I upgraded my earth shatter to perps pretty cool huh yeah pretty good pretty good i think i did some other upgrades too on some gear i'm not i can't quite remember what i did what did i upgrade what did i upgrade there's another video i can do if you want go through gear and uh some people said that my jewels i need to rearrange my jewels and my attack gear and stuff as you can see that's what i'm rocking there i uh, yeah uh i need to do an, an update so uh we'll do a video on gear and jewels and uh, we'll see what we can come up with uh, because I'm I'm more of a uh, all around like balanced player. I like using all three troop types. I don't like going heavy infantry, heavy. You know, I like to be just kind of well balanced. Uh, so that's what I kind of um, geared my <laughs> geared my gear toward was being a balanced player, having a high attack and high uh, health and all that other good stuff across a range of gear and. Um, it, it, it served me well over the past. I do have, you know, I do have my range set. I do have my, well, I don't really have a cavalry set, but I, by mixing and matching jewels, um, I have, I was able to make, you know, a cav set and an infantry set and a range set by using ranged gear. And then say, but say you don't have enough to make an actual piece of cav gear. Well, you can use a piece of range gear or infantry gear that doesn't even have cav attack on it, but say it has army attack, um, which gives all of your troops that buff, right? Uh, or it has, um, you know, army HP. Then you put a, if you have one, a gold uh, cavalry attack or whatever in there. You know what I mean? You know, see where I'm going with this? You can make certain gear that doesn't even have one stat okay for that stat like you can have 20 percent ranged attack just by putting a 20 uh, uh, a gold jewel in there not mean not mean all right see see how much damage i'm doing i, don't, I can't even remember what is that like three hits now i'm gonna kill this thing in four hits yep let's just look zombies one two three four five what am i getting huh <laughs> Pretty crap, if you ask me. All right, so that should get us down below so we can change our gear without losing energy. Good, yeah, we're at 38K, good. So now I can change my gear without uh, worrying about losing any energy. And guys, we need players. Look, like 47. You know, we did get to the next tier in Guildfest. Uh, we did make it, but 
we need guild fest is like in another week week and a half or something we got to get up to like 70 80 members so come on guys i don't care how much might you are as long as you can do guild fest come on over let's help rebuild this guild and have some fun um what did i want to use uh, i'm going to use that after the ready to rumble okay so we hunted so now we can change our gear without worrying about losing any uh energy so familiar let's redo this do beep skibi but i'm trying to go too fast i'm getting ahead of myself i'm trying to think about what i'm going to say next and what i'm going to do next there we go all right uh whatever pack uh, okay six hours left there i think i already oh might as well open up these bon appetit packs that i bought in the store hey cool we can upgrade our bon appetit Good stuff. Wait, wait, no, not me. Oh, where, 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 are, where are you? There you are. Upgrade. Thank you. What does that unlock? Uh, coalition army attack. Uh, okay, that'd be good for like darkness and rallies and stuff, I guess, because your coalition will, their whole coalition, the whole coalition. It's an added army attack. Hmm. Okay. Eh, I don't really like that, but by upgrading her, I'll be able to get this up higher. I think I've got it. Yeah, I do. It's about as far as I can go, but I might as well get her up a little. Ooh, almost. Okay, I'm not going to hit it. Just in case I get another times five, I'll end up wasting that. All right, now I want to touch base on familiars a little bit. Now, I'm going to do a whole video on this, but I just kind of want to go over this real quick. When you start off, you get, let's go look here, packs. You get, you get access to pack 1A and 1B. In 1A, you want to focus on the Territe because you get uh, merging speed um, boost and he also gives you fragments. So you want to get him, get him leveled up, get these maxed out so you can get the max fragments because fragments are important. You need fragments um, and you'll be able to merge packs faster. So get him, focus on him and in from pack 1A, that's about it. Yeah, Oak Root gives you the you know increased timber production, increased uh, stone production, ore production, uh, and vault keeper. Yeah, you can hold more in your storage, but yeah, you want to focus on the territe. So once you get that done, then in 1B, you want to focus on the Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. Aquarius. You want to focus on Aquarius. Why? Because he has uh, anima production, which, okay, good, you, you know, you want anima production, but more importantly, uh, you get stamina. So the higher the level, the more stamina you get. And what is stamina? Well, your hearts. So you can do hero stages and upgrade your heroes, which you want to do, right? So get that. Um, and that's about it. From 1A, you want the Terrorite. From the 1B, you want the Aquarius. Other than that, it's, it's all preference, what you want. You want more food. Uh, do you want more gold? Do you want uh, to be able to, your supply troops to travel fast? It, it's all personal preference. But the ones you must, well, you don't have to if you don't want. But what I'm saying is uh, Aquarius and Territe, okay? Um, pack 2A, 2B is the same thing. There's uh, there's a couple that you want to focus on. I'll, I'll really go in depth in the next video, but I just wanted to show you real quick on what you have to look forward to. And if you really want to find out which familiars to focus on, I will let you know and I will tell you exactly what you need to do so that you can get the most out of it. And you will be getting gems and stars and um, you'll be merging packs quicker uh, and your attack will be better. It's just, it's all out um, good stuff. Pack four, hard to get. I have to admit, it takes a lot of research, a lot of time, and, but I will do a video just on pack four. For the people that have unlocked it, but they're not quite sure what to focus on. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, and like I said, I'll do another video. Uh, if Leave in the comments if you wanted me to go through my research and explain in depth on why I chose what I chose. And so I can show you what I chose. Because I think I have a pretty good setup um, for somebody that can't do all the research. I had to really pick and choose the best of the best. So if you want to see a video on that, leave in the comments, let me know. And um, I was going to open up what chests I had. Don't really have much. Kind of, I kind of want to save them up a little bit more, like until maybe after next Guild Fest. I have a few here and there. Yeah, I'll save the chests for another video. Okay. 
Please don't be mad. Leave it in the comments if you're mad. But if you understand, leave it in the comments too. But look, I can't use my I can't use my VIP. Why? Because I'm full. VIP 15, I love it. You know what I like about it? Okay, I get in, I get the free acceleration for 60 minutes. That's kind of nice. You get an extra 15 minutes from VIP 14. But but what I like is the army attack. Look at that. Army attack went from five to fifteen. Defense, meh. And then Army Max HP went from 5 to... It doubled. It doubled. Army HP doubled, but Army Attack multiplied by 3. <laughs> and everything else went up a little bit, which is kind of nice too. But VIP 15, so awesome. So awesome. Consecutive logins. I mi That should be like 1,600. I can't remember why, but I missed a login one day. And that thing reset. But I haven't missed one in 1,233 days. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, let's get some of these uh, going just in case. I, oh, yeah. Unlock. Boop. Lock. Craft. I don't have any crafting gear. I'm not even going to bother with that shit. Because who knows if I'll ever get T5 unlocked. And if I do, when? Right? And then, you know what? We, you know, we'll talk about jewels. Equip, like, well, there's lots of, lots of content. I got lots of stuff. And then... What I'm going to do is I'm going to do some tutorial videos on the uh, hero stages for you guys because I still I'm still getting video. How do you do well, stage 712, 715, 718, and then especially these levels here? I think I did a, a, a video on eight nine. You know, I'll, I'll I'll I should do a video on all of them from eight three all the way to eight eighteen. Uh, eight fifteen I find is harder than eight eighteen, believe it or not. So maybe I'll do a video on eight fifteen. But yeah, anyway. Hopefully you guys like that. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe, please. Um, I'm almost at 10K. We'll do a 10K celebration. We'll, we'll do, you know, we'll get fireworks and um, uh, dancers and champagne the whole nine yards. Um, but I'm last time I checked, I was at like 9,990 something. So let's get up to 10K, actual 10K, and uh, we'll have a celebration video. Okay, okay. In the meantime. Get out there and have fun, keep calm, and llama on.